Universe. And I keep saying, I keep saying this. I'm gonna say this a thousand times. From birth to death, the whole purpose is to evolve. You are going to reach a still point or a purgatory. Uh, relevant to like, the, the Catholic religion where they say purgatory uh -huh. is a moment of stillness. You are going to reach that purgatory state of mind often because there will be a chess piece that you need to move. It will either make you fall or you will evolve. But you always must evolve and you must see what is keeping you still or in purgatory. You need to keep your eyes open, think with your mind and not with your body. People often dwell into that body high. They want to do whatever makes their body feel good. They don't want to stimulate their mind or move their minds forward. You're not going to evolve or have a good life unless you increase, increase your knowledge, and that goes for any dream. The kids need more video games. They need more video games to distract them from the fucking evil shit in the world to give them uh, an escape. The reason they keep going to drugs or going to other things is because they have nothing to entertain them. We need more video games. Sony or whatever. We're going to start a whole new wave and a whole new movement called Fuck Xenex. If I see anyone post them doing Xenex online, you fucking stupid. If you promote drug use and you promote Xenex after Lil Peep died, you fucking stupid. Stop doing Xenex 2017. No one can explain why you are alive. No one can save you but you. I want for everybody that follows me and supports me to make sure you are being healthy, in mind, being caring, compromising for the ones you love, being loyal to the ones you love. Karma, spiritual awareness, anything along, uh, anything along those lines, everybody learn that shit. So look it up, start start studying, man. It's really about having that passive state of mind, pretty much, it's like, like man, if you're, if you're more accepting and you're more like, and you're less, con like, you're less of a conformist with anything that you do, man, you get rewarded a fuckload, man. So like, if some shit happens to you and you accept it, man, you're gonna get rewarded. And I mean that, like, horrible shit is gonna happen to people, horrible shit is gonna happen to me. I mean, good shit is gonna happen to me. Wonderful shit is gonna happen to me, but horrible shit is gonna happen to me. So, I mean, I, all I can do is accept it or else it's gonna just, it's gonna break me. What I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna teach people, not only to be self-aware, bro, because learning to be self-aware is a very important thing. Because when you learn to be self-aware and you learn to be in your mind, bro, you can escape this shit, bro. You don't gotta 24 seven feel the need to be fucking codependent. The purpose to life, bro, I'm gonna say this forever, is creation and evolution. If you refuse to evolute your current mind state or your mindset, you stuck, you dead, you died. You're dead, you're stuck. Bro, every single fucking day, bro, I'm trying to evolve. At no point in time should you believe that I am trying to do anything bad. Um, don't look at everything else as the problem. Look at yourself and see how you can change yourself to where nothing bothers you, to where you're unbothered about a lot of things. And, to where life doesn't exactly affect you in that manner. It's changing your perception that kind of changed the world around you because it's the small things that we don't appreciate. So in order to appreciate everything, you have to be very, very, very analytical. So in being analytical, you start to observe the world in a different manner. So even how you approach people, even how you move, even how you think, when you change the way you think, you change the way you perceive the world. I want to teach them to be self-aware. I want to teach them how to compromise and find true love, bro. I want to teach them how to respect themselves, how to let their persona take over themselves so they can feel important without being idolized by the, the amount of numbers that I have. You know what I'm saying? That they can appreciate what they do have because I'm still trying to teach myself appreciation. The minute you realize time is the most important thing, even though time don't exist, time is the most important thing, nothing else matters. As long as you got time. If we live in a world governed by feeling and emotion, Let's just make sure it's a good one, yeah? Okay, so my current focus is creation and evolution. No matter whether you realize it or not, every day you evolve, every day you create. You create in thought, you evolve in mind, you evolve as far as your age, you evolve physically, mentally. If you are evoluting physically and you are not evoluting mentally, you are not doing the right thing. So for you guys, our guys, I want you guys to Constantly, constantly, constantly be trying to evolve. Um, as far as creation, being creative in thought, being like living life like a dream, you know? Like as far as you are 
the actor in your own movie. You get what I'm saying? And you are the person that you desire to be. To everyone that supports me in everything I do, I love you all. I love you all more than I love myself. You all mean the world to me. Your support is what keeps me alive. I love you all. Here's my, my prime fucking motto. What is real will prosper. Michael Jackson said it way back in the day. If you want to make a change, you got to look in the mirror and change yourself. It starts with you. Because one mind controls a lot of things. You have a magnetic field. You have to understand, this is just one planet out of all of the universe. You know what I'm saying? We're not the only ones here, first of all. This is just one planet out of the entire universe. You have a magnetic field, whatever you wish to acquire. Applying the law of attraction all the way down to Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton. Applying your laws of the universe. You know what I'm saying? Applying these things. You understand that your brain is the most important thing. And if you give your brain to the system, you're feeding them and not yourself. So you need to evolve. You need to increase your knowledge. Once you increase your knowledge, everything is easy. It was funny because Bob Marley said something very important. How long, are, it was either Bob Marley or somebody. How long are we gonna sit aside and let them murder our prophets? I believe in yin and yang. I believe that one cannot exist without the other. And unless unless we learn to know that and appreciate the idea of yin and yang, we will basically be so fucking void minded yeah. that we will create a void on this planet. And then we're gonna just ruin the game for the future and ruin the game for all of us. And then I'll soon it like people don't even have the mind to realize that, bro, this is your world. And what uh, we're also living in someone else's world. We're going to fuck around and let these dumbasses that rule our fucking planet, my nigga, create hell for all of us that we don't deserve. Mm. I, I, but I don't stand for empowerment of anything except equity. I don't give a fuck about anyone's personal views or opinions or anything. The whole thing is the equilibrium equity and keeping everything maintained and that's why i kind of fuck with the government if you want me to be honest like i like there was a point where i learned about the truth of what is hidden from certain minds and things that aren't supposed to like that thing that that aren't for people to see like in the clear and in, in plain sight and i understand why it's hidden because certain people should not have access to certain knowledge because if they get access to certain knowledge they have access to certain power and then it throws the equilibrium off. It throws the, the equity of the earth in itself off its axis. Like, it's like understanding that everybody's the navigator of their own destiny. The only per the only people that ever become a problem is the one that wants to be the god of everybody. Mm -hmm. The one that feels the need to rule other minds. Why do you feel the need to, to rule uh, someone? That's very insignificant. Your energy should naturally be compelling. You know what I'm saying? My whole goal throughout the human race, for that matter, is to watch everybody evolve. You know what I'm saying? For the human race in itself or the human mind to evolve because that's the whole process from birth. From your one years old, all you do is evolve. Your understanding and your grasp only evolves. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. The more you know, the more you, the more you understand, is the more you're able to do. The more power... You have knowledge is power. They don't want you to have knowledge at this point in time. That's why the New World Order is here. That's why they have all these fucking distractions mm -hmm. to keep you from enlightening yourself. Self-enlightenment is the key. I can't say too much. I won't say too much right. to, get, to get myself into some shit. But self-enlightenment is a key. Creation and evolution is the purpose of the human mind. You heard that, motherfuckers. What you believe, you may perceive. And what you believe becomes reality. Boy, get over here, boy. Seven of mine, wonder what you'll find within the soul's divine. Put him on ice, watch your niggas slip, and he will not suffice. Make him idle, all of the infamous time becomes a fucking rival. Basically, he better than the devil within himself. He faced the fucking side away. Hands moving all in my fucking face. I hate this place. Goddamn, disgusted by my face. I feel like wasted. Damn skin, cause the tint that's on my face. See that?